You are thinking about your old army, unable to do anything in most of your games. When you see that Game Workshop are probably going to release a new battle tome, you search online every day if something leaked. You refresh Warmer community every minute, but still nothing. It's been three weeks, your passions almost faded, but something changed. The day has come. Now, you know that this is a new army you had been dreaming for years. The rules seem fun, the data sheets are stronger than ever, and you are finally thinking that you have a chance to have some fun playing the game. You check some great lists online, and you found one that you like. You open Game Workshop online store, and you start adding the products you need in your cart. You finally completed these quests and added the last item. But this would have never happened if you had purchased a 3D printer. Nowadays, you can print almost everything with your 3D printer, even some great armies. So today I'm going to show you my top three armies to 3D print for Edge of Sigmar. And the best is I'm actually going to tell you how much it costs to do so. And to make it easy to follow, I chose three different Age of Sigma lists to 3D print. They are not meant to be competitive, but more to have some fun playing the game. Of course, you will find everything in the description box down below. But first, let's talk about the method. Yes, because I want you to know how I do my calculations. <laughs> it's pretty easy for the prices. Let's start with the STL files. I'm only going to use my mini factory website for this video because it's the one I personally use and the one I like the most. For every STL file that I'm going to talk in this video, I will only use half of the price because many of the creators have Patreon and if you follow them on Patreon you get a 50% discount and I will also add the fees at the end so you have the real costs. Of course we are going to use resin so from my experiments and some testimonies I found that you can print roughly 60 32 millimeters miniature as we know that it's 40 euros a bottle and you can make 60 miniature with it, it makes roughly 70 cents per miniature that I'm going to multiply by the size factor. The bigger the miniature, the more um, resin is going to be used. So I'm just going to take the size factor and multiply it by the 70 cents per miniature. And because I hate printing bases, I'm just going to add the basing cost. I usually go on Green Stuff Roll to buy my plastic bases because it's just like the one from Game Workshop but cheaper. And finally, the sum of the STL files, the plastic bases and the resin is going to make the total cost. But let's get right into it. The first army I would recommend you to print is... Soulblight Gravelord. This is my first Age of Sigmar army and I almost fully 3D printed it. It was actually the first 3D prints I did. Personally, I really like Game Workshop skulls and I try to stay as close as possible to the original. So let me show you what I got for this Soulblight army. We are going to use this list that I personally like. So I have a zombie dragon, Radicard the Beast, a vampire lord, death rattle skeletons, blood knights, grave guards, and of course wolves, because Radicard the Beast can summon a whole unit of wolves. For Soulblight, I would suggest you to check out Highlands Miniature, Titan Forge, and Outfillion. I find that they have the best skills for almost every Soulblight entry. The one I'm going to start with is the Zombie Dragon from Archvillain because it's just incredible. I love it. It's actually one of the skulls that really differs from Game Workshop but that stands out so much from the table when you put it down. I had a lot of positive comments on how great the skull was. But notice that it's important that you print it with a bigger scale otherwise the model is a bit Tiny. So it's from Archvillain in the Blood Rain and it costs 25 euros but don't forget that you divide it by 2 
because Archery Land offers a 50% discount for every purchase if you follow them on Patreon. And from them as well, you can find really great detailed vampires on foot that would work completely as a vampire lord. And finally, the last leader option for this list is Raduka the Beast. I did not have to 3D print him because I bought it a long time ago, but if I would, I would take this one. It looks quite decent and quite close to Raduka the Beast, so we just add this to our little cart. Let's go with our bat line. We have lots of options here. Skeletons are all over the place on my mini factory, so try to find some that you like. The one I 3D printed are from Highland Miniature because they are cheap and the quality is perfect for my taste. They are also really easy to print. If you follow my advice, I also use the files for the dire rolls and the grave guards. They look like the one from Game Workshop. And of course, we need to finish this 2000 point list with the best miniature ever, the Blood Knight. Two options at this stage. You can stick to Highland Miniature. They released some that have a really simple design or you can even go with the one from Titan Forge. They also have great zombies. I did not talk about zombies, but you should check out the zombies. Of course, every link in the description box down below. And that's it for the Soulbright Gravelord army. Thanks to my master's degree in quantum physics, mathematics, and chemistry, I figured out that it would cost you roughly... Yeah, this. Exactly this. Oh! <laughs> You thought it was expensive because it's a Game Workshop prize, not the 3D printing one. It's actually this one if you want to 3D print it. Yeah, it's much better. It's almost 70% off the Game Workshop prize, which is tasty. Let's go for the second army, which is going to be Lizardsmen. This is the easiest one to 3D print and to proxy. Because all you need is the one page rule bundle, which costs 60 dollars, 60 euros, something like this. But you have 50% off if you follow them on Patreon, which you are going to do because they are releasing amazing stuff. And with this bundle, you have everything that you need for 2000 points Thunder Lizard Army. So grab your Battle of Resin, your gloves, and print them. This is the perfect army to start 3D printing with. The files are super short and you have everything for 50 bucks. If you buy this list directly from Game Workshop, you need to spend 450 euros. It's insane. And if you 3D print it, you will have your army for... 129 euros. It's a 70% reduction, just like before. And of course, as you will own your own files, you can change the list as you like. And if you want to expand your list, you can buy the other bundle that they did for their Saurian miniature. And it's just basically all the proxy for Theraphons. The Lizardsmen are actually so easy to print that I don't know why I didn't print them sooner. But you're going to tell me, should I 3D print an army and do an 8 hour challenge? Tell me in the comments if I should try something like this or not. And finally we have the Night Owned army. There is a lot of variety in my mini factory, so don't be shy and take what you like the most. I really like the sculpt from Gamak Studio, Fleshcraft and The Axis. So for the leader we need one Guardian of Sol, a Crusader and two Spirit Tournament. I found the perfect Guardian of Sol on Gamak Studio, it looks almost the same as Game Workshop and I really like it. For the Crusader, I did not find a great proxy for it so it was a bit tricky. So I tried looking for something similar and I found this little guy. What do you think? For the two spirit tournament, I chose to go with the from Fleshcraft because it has the same vibe as the one from Game Workshop. For all the leaders, the total 3D printing price is 18 bucks. Let's go on now with the battle lines. We need five X-rays and 60 blood guys revenant. Look at those mounted ghosts from Gamak. They just look amazing but they are not so cheap. And for the Blood Geist, I fell in love with the sculpt from The Axis. I really like the poses and the blades, 
And for me, they are the best proxy for all of this army. And lastly, we need three Mayomon Bunchies, which I took from Gamak, and three Spirit Host from the Axis again. Look how sharp the details are. I really love it. And because that's what you are waiting for, this is how much it will cost you if you want the official miniatures. And how much for the 3D printed proxies? Damn! It's only 138 euros. Guys, like, how cheap is this? It's insane. Every time I do this, I feel like there is a mistake in my calculations. But nope, it's almost a 70% reduction as well. This is my top three, but I would love to know what your top three is. So tell me in the comment section down below. At the end of the day, if I could buy from Game Workshop, I would, but I can't for two reasons. First, I don't have the money to do so, and second, I don't like building models, so the time it takes me to 3D print them is almost equal to the time I will need to build my models. If you like 3D printing or if you want to save money, a 3D printer is a great investment and you will almost refund it completely if you print a full army. And don't get me wrong, I know that Game Workshop is not only about miniature but also about quality content, the rules and so on, but I'm sure that many of us would buy from them if we could. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and to subscribe. Tell me in the comment section down below if you want to see a part 2 in which I will do ex the exact same thing but with three different armies. Anyway, see you next week. Bye.